It's cruise time, baby. Come with me on a Margaritaville cruise. So my friend Melissa messaged me one day saying she had air quote free Margaritaville cruise tickets to the Bahamas that needed to be used up soon and asked if I wanted to go. Spoiler alert, it was not truly a free cruise, but we'll get to that later. So anyways, I said yes, cause I'm always down to travel. So we hopped into Melissa's car and drove down to West Palm. Now, if you know anything about cruises, you know that Margaritaville doesn't exactly make the list of best cruise lines. So so our expectations were low. Now we were gonna be sailing on the Paradise ship and I have only been on one other cruise before this and that was the Carnival Liberty ship and our ship was definitely smaller than the Carnival one. And one of the first things that caught our eye was the swimming pool. How do you feel about the, the 10 person pool? <laughs> well at first we didn't actually think that was gonna be the main pool, but we just got the confirmation it is <laughs> and now we're going to go see the other one. <laughs> So we actually later learned it has a capacity of 18. It just looks like 10 at first glance, but we were still dying at how small it is. But luckily we were going in off season and our cruise was nowhere near full. And we also found an adult only pool in the back. Sarah, where are we headed? Pool number two. What's your expectation? Oh, I'm expecting a massive giant, just out of this world pool. Your fan's barely spinning. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the size of that pool, guys. It's just, it's massive. So what's your expectations of meeting your husband on this cruise? <laughs> oh, I, I think this cruise is full of winners. I, I expect a ring by the end of this cruise. It's only two days, but when you know, you know. It's three days, two nights, Sarah. Three days, okay. Oh, <laughs> so then I, gonna be a wedding at the end. What are you talking about? And it's gonna be right here next to the school. <laughs> Where are we headed? I have high expectations for this as well. Where is it? It's day. Is it not out yet? <laughs> here we have a beautiful pool table. That's a bigger pool than the <laughs> swimming pool. Oh, this is it. Okay. Very lively. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> this is where you'll find me tonight. Why is this building so low? So after wandering around the ship for a bit and grabbing a quick lunch, we went to check out our room. Wow. So Melissa's suitcase that is suitcase here. Is but mine... Yours? Um, that happened on my last cruise. We, we, we dropped him off together. Yeah. Record, definitely. But the moment of truth is here. Here we go. <laughs> Are there people in there? What's happening? The TV's on. Oh. That was definitely my concern. I was like, why are people talking? No, I thought the same thing. Yeah, I was like, oh my thing. god. Okay. Oh wow. Look at this stellar what's it called shower curtain. If this doesn't scream luxury, I don't know what does. <laughs> it matches your pants, Sarah. It does. You are the reason. <laughs> you knew. Look. Yay. Always getting my luggage left. There must be something here that's suspicious for security. Ready to set still. Not long after this, it was time for the sail away party, which I was excited about because I missed out on that on my last cruise. And this was fun. There was a lot of dancing and of course limbo, which I suck at. <laughs> Did my best. So then we just kind of hung around and watched the sunset for a bit before going back to our rooms to change for the nightlife. And now I don't know if the entire ship was taking a nap, but when we came out, we could could not find anybody. It was dead. Like there were no people anywhere. We were like, what's going on? Like how many people are on this ship? 
because we don't see anybody anywhere. So we just got a drink and went over to karaoke where there was a grand total of like 10 people. And the guy that was running the karaoke was like begging for singers. He's like, please, we need singers. So I decided to go and I did Blinding Lights by the weekend. And when I do karaoke, I always like to give a performance. So I was dancing, I was doing all that. And then towards the end of the song, this happened. So at first, Melissa thought they purposely cut me off, but it turns out they just had to pause everything because they were about to make an announcement that one of the evening shows were starting soon. But they waited like a good two minutes from when they cut off the music to when they made the announcement. So it definitely sounded like they were trying to cut me off and be like, will she please stop? But one of the staff members was like, no, it's because of the announcement. Which speaking of the evening show, we wanted to go see that. So after I did my karaoke performance, we headed over to the show. And it was a pretty decent show. I liked this part best. I don't know how people do this. Like I would slam my face into the ground and bust my head open if I tried to do this. Major props, I, I could never. <laughs> so then after the show, there was gonna be a game for adults only. And it was hands down the highlight of the cruise for me. So they told us to pair up in groups and make sure there was at least one guy and one girl in the group. So we found a couple sitting next to us and decided to form a group with them. And oh my God, it was so hilarious. We had to do things like put a bra on the guy's head and have him go to the front. I had to go up there and like kiss a bald guy's head and afterwards he was like her breath smelled like she just brushed it which I had. You're welcome bro. <laughs> and then later on my group was up there the MC was like oh my god group five's breath really does smell good. <laughs> oh you are team number five your breath do smell really nice. That's true. <laughs> the very last thing they had us do was they wanted a guy and a girl to switch clothing and the guy had to introduce himself as a girl and the girl had to introduce herself as a guy and then they had to dance. And this was so funny. I was dying. These two, <laughs> they were willing to do anything. <laughs> Talk to me in a male tone of voice, tell everybody your male name and what you do for a living. DJ Hey girl, I see you rocking that 34B. I see you. <laughs> Tell everybody your name and what you do for a living. Hi, my name is Bernard and I am a secretary. I see you, girl. <laughs> By the way, you clip up that bun. I know you're a secretary. <laughs> DJ, <laughs> We thought they were gonna win. They they really killed it, but the couple after them were the winners, but they were a very, very close second. It was so funny and we loved them. So we actually spent the rest of the cruise with them. And after the show, we all went to the club together and danced around. Then the next morning was time to get off the ship and we all just went to the beach together and we were just kind of low key. We just hung out at the beach, went swimming for a little bit. And then as we were on our way back to the ship, there was a bit of a miscarriage communication with the driver and we basically didn't get to the ship until right as it was boarding <laughs> and as you can see I was running for my life but we made it back on the ship and went to have dinner and we did not realize that this sit-down restaurant was included until this night and we we're like really we could have eaten here the night before so but whatever we had dinner there which thank god because the buffet food eh, not great but the restaurant was decent then we went to watch another show and I was really excited because in the first show I saw that little circle thing in the ceiling and I was like, ooh, I want them to use that, but they didn't use it in the first show. So you better believe I was so excited when they finally pulled it down for the second show. I was like, yeah! I just like to see like people do these crazy things and all that, cause I can't do it. So then after that, we watched a love and marriage show before hitting up the club again. I will say the club was pretty fun and pretty lit both nights. And I know I'm getting old cause my knee kept trying to give out. <laughs> while I was dancing, but I powered through. Anyways, the next day it was time to get off the ship. Oh. <laughs> 
And as you can see, I am not a morning person in any way, shape, or form. So I was not too thrilled about being up this early. Have a nice day. Okay, cousin it. <laughs> So final thoughts on this cruise. What did we think? It's definitely a more low key ship. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. This is an older ship and up until recently it was Margaritaville's only ship, which Melissa's friends were going on the newer cruise ship around the same time we were going on ours. And they said it was a lot better than this ship. So maybe we gotta do a part two going on the new cruise ship. What do you say, Melissa? <laughs> but anyways, overall it's small. It doesn't have anything too extreme. Extravagant, but it's a booze cruise and it gets you to the Bahamas and just for a couple days It wasn't too bad, but it's one of the cheaper cruise lines and you can tell it's one of the cheaper cruise lines Which speaking of here's how much our free cruise cost us So we still had to pay for port fees the fuel taxes a hundred dollar island fee $57 for parking gratitude gratitude. Oh my god. I feel like I'm saying gratitude whatever tips <laughs> and then the drinks so when you combine all the taxes all the the fees, all that, it came out to about $323 per person, which isn't bad. So that's how they always get you. The fees, the drinks, and all of that. But we still had a good time. We made it fun. We made it fun. So yeah, that was our cruise.